Good morning, happy Sunday. I hope you're all well, as always. I'm doing okay today. I'm a little tired. I didn't sleep very good last night. Um, I wanted to put out something today, and I think I'm going to do a little different video, kind of um, my frugal living this month with a twist, and I am going to address or answer some of your comments that I've been getting on my videos recently, particularly the Frugal February videos. So, um, as you know, a lot. I'm looking down at my other cell phone, sorry, um, and I got my page pulled up. So, or my channel, whatever it is, whatever it is. Um, you all know how much I like to do discount shopping, shopping hauls, that sort of thing, and you all know of the commitment I made to myself this month of reaching a goal um, to pay off a credit card. Da, 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 da. But I have always lived frugally. I've always clearance shopped. I've always discount shopped. Love thrift stores. Love finding things on the side of the road. I do not like to pay full price um, for anything really. Except for groceries, you gotta you have to pay full price on groceries. You can't you know talk the grocer down but I do buy generic most of the time so that's one of the frugal tips that I've given people um, like I said yesterday in my frugal cooking video I did pretty much reach the goal of um, getting the money up to pay off what I put on this one particular credit card anyways I am going to answer some of your comments and just talk about frugal living. So this is on the frugal Hello, living. What's for lunch? This is another. I yeah, turn down the um, turn down the volume so that I can actually. Oh, this is an old phone, so I forget where the uh, volume buttons are. All right. So senior butterfly said your lunch looked good. Enjoying your videos. I enjoy seeing what someone else cooks as I'm alone also, and it is challenging to cook for one. I should probably put my glasses on because I know I'm squinting. It is, first of all, thank you, Senior um, Butterfly, for your, um, your comment, and thank you for watching. It is challenging cooking for one. When I had my kids at home and, you know, I had the house, I could cook a big meal, a big pot of spaghetti, or a big beef stew, or a big anything. And number one, I think it's easier. You don't, it's not a lot of thought on how to put together a big, you know, pot roast or anything like that. I think it tastes better when, you, when you're cooking for, for a bunch of people. Not that my food that I cook now doesn't taste good, but it is hard to cook for one. Because if I was to buy a big pot roaster or something like that, you know, it's chances of you eating that whole thing all week. Number one, you might get bored with it. Um, it's a lot and will probably go bad. So it is hard. And anything that you can get like frozen dinners for one, they're not healthy. Um, the serving size might be good, but they're not healthy. You're paying more for the product because you're paying for the packaging, everything. And I don't know, I just don't think it's a healthy option. Um, when I buy bags of spinach or a head of lettuce, that usually goes bad before I can eat it all because it's just for one person. And when you're, like I said, when you are making a big salad for your whole family, you know, there's not going to be a lot of waste. So again, um, and they don't make, you know, heads of lettuce for one person. I, th I think you know what I'm getting at. But yes, it is it is difficult seeing your butterfly. And um, I'm glad you enjoy my videos. Nancy Trent. Let's see what Nancy says. Robin, I am so enjoying your frugal February videos. I have a question. Are you having any withdrawals from Target, Big Lots, or Dollar Tree? LOL. I love your videos about your curbside finds. You do such wonderful things with those finds. At the age of 67, I so enjoy frugal living. Keep going, girl. Nancy, thank you for your comment and thank, for, thank you for watching. Yes. Yes, I am. I don't know if you'd call it a withdrawal because I don't have any physical symptoms of 
wanting to or needing to get out there and shop. But yes, um, as you know, I do like shopping. Um, but again, I'm st sticking, sticking to the commitment. And um, it's a discipline. It is a discipline when you're used to having extra money to go out shopping um, just to buy little things. And I do have extra money um, to go out and buy little things. But again, I'm trying to stick with that discipline and um, have it be a really a frugal February, not just for my viewers or my subscribers, but for myself too. Even though that, that I met that goal, I wanna see how much more I can um, put away. So yes, I am. And um, I was thinking, you know, when I get back to making videos of, you know, shopping, which is going to be my first video. I've been watching a lot of other haulers out there and there is um, one, and I don't know if it's Timu or Temu. Not that that's bad. I'm looking at some of the products, but most of the products that I'm seeing people haul is stuff that I already have. And I don't know how to explain this without it sounding, I don't wanna say judgmental, but that must get expensive when you're, when people's videos are strictly Dollar Tree hauls. I mean, there are people that do Dollar Tree hauls every day. And I often wonder, do you go to the Dollar Tree every day? That must get expensive. While I do them, and I'm, I don't wanna say it's a guilty thing, I do my fair share of enough Dollar Tree hauls, Target hauls. I like my channel to have more of a variety um, when I do Target dollar spot hauls. I like to show you like a week later what I did with the stuff. I don't want my channel to be strictly shopping hauls. And if people, they that's what their channel is about, that's good. You know, everybody's entitled to whatever they want to do on their own channel. But I think I would run out of, out of money and places to put this stuff. But yes, I am, I'm, I am missing my shopping and um, I'm not going to go shopping. Although today I do have to go to the store and get a couple things. And there are a couple things like my eye drops that I'm out of, stuff like that. But I'm definitely not going to go to Big Lots and see what they have on clearance because I'm just not. All right, C.R. Heim. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. These frugal videos are so fun. Thank you. I'm having fun making them. I really am. and. I say it all the time, my videos aren't scripted, I don't edit them, I I just make them. And if you see me spilling something in the kitchen, I think that probably just makes it all the more funny, right? Um, Joanne Pergakis. Ha ha ha, great video. Really, that meal looked good. You know what, I was having a bad day, it worked out, and a few laughs is great. Enjoy, happy Saturday. I'm sorry you were having a bad day, and I'm happy and I'm glad that um, I could put a smile on your face and help you to turn your um, your bad day around. The food that I just have been making and you know with whatever I have at home, it is actually good, and maybe it's good because I have such a variety and such a stockpile here. Yeah, and. The reason why I do my stockpiling originally was for like doomsday prepping um, for when things get really bad because you don't know if a hurricane's going to come through and knock out your power for a week. So I'm always looking for ways to have things around the house that will get me by. Um, I'm always buying extra toilet paper, canned goods, and the canned goods that I buy, I don't just buy, you know, like, I don't know tubs of frosting or something, which I, that would not be a problem because I love to eat frosting. Um, but it's always like tuna or chickpeas, a, a good protein source and good canned vegetables, stuff like that. And it's going to be, I always buy stuff that I'm actually going to use. I will never stockpile a bunch of stuff just to have my stockpile full. Because number one, that's a waste of money. It's a waste of space and it's a waste of food. So yeah. Cassie B, 
Robin, you are a hoot. Enjoyed the video. You must let us know if the shrimp was good. Thanks. The shrimp was very good. However, um, I don't know if you saw on the label yesterday or even when I did the Trader Joe's haul, it has a lot of calories in it and a lot of fat and it's not the healthiest, but yes, it is good. I had, um, I think half of the package at lunch yesterday. I had a bite of one this morning because it was there and I was waiting for my coffee to make. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is good. Trader Joe's, go get you some. Kimberly phones, love it. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. Sandy Dixon, great video. Can you see my smile? Um, figuratively speaking, um, yes, I can see your smile and thank you. I'm glad I can make you smile. So those are the comments from that one. And I'm hoping I didn't miss anybody's comments. So let me scroll through again. No, I didn't. But another thing I'm finding, and I'm not on YouTube to see how many um, subscribers I can get. I'm finding that when I do these frugal living videos, my subscriber list um, grows and it gets a lot more views on my frugal living videos than my Dollar Tree haul videos. And yeah, I'm happy about that. So I'm going to go over to my frugal February update date video there's three comments on that one um lose loves life i hope i'm saying that right lose or loves loves life one of my favorite topics whoopsie something just came through one of my favorite top topics i enjoy frugal challenges check out frankie hoy's challenge on how to live one month on a hundred dollars in new york city i don't know how he does that new york is very expensive he is so funny and expiring if he can stretch 100 in the most expensive city correct i'm sure we can work with what we have yes we can and i do work with what i have especially this month again another from joanne home care is a great extra money plus helping out a family i got a part-time job also doing this extra is good read more you're very inspiring as being retired from government. I still like extra plus everything is going up. Hugs, have a great day. I am right along with you making only food what I have. Thank you for sharing. Yes, so that woman that I'm taking care of for um, home care this week, um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be seeing her Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 for a shower. I went over and met her earlier in the week. I met her daughter, who is a friend of mine. Um, met the woman cute little lady so I'm going to be taking care of her while her daughter um, is actually away she's going on vacation good for her to a place that I would like to go to all right and Gail Garcia good luck I'm sure this will be very easy for you I think you're talking about um, you know the the frugal February challenge it it has been easy it has been easy um, Again, not going to lie, I would love to go to Target right now, but I'm not going to. I still, for my last Target haul, that stuff's in bags. It's spring decorations, and it's still in bags in the other room. And I was going to do something with that stuff, but it's just the middle of February, so. Um, there was a frugal living slow Sunday. That was just... Um, me doing stuff around the house to music so i don't know what's on there but this last one that i'm going to to the comments on was the frugal living pantry challenge I had the red shirt and i had the stuffing and the ground chicken um and sat said it looks delicious robin you'll get several meals out of it and also thank you for sharing yes i did i did get a couple um couple days out of it when I make a meal, you know, a big casserole or something like that, or a big pot of something, I'll just eat it all day till it's gone. That's what I will eat for a day or two. It gets boring, but whatever. Sandy Dixon, good for you, Rob, in a frugal February. I always watch your videos after I've gone to bed for the night because they are so sweet and fun. And after all the bad news, they are a comfort to just watch. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my videos... Um, are true true it's me in true form um, again I say 
I, you know, they're unedited. I keep looking out at the sky. I'm, I'm in my room looking out the window. I'm sorry. My videos are true, true to form. Um, when I go shopping, it's what I'm going to use, what I'm going to eat. I don't ever do a shopping haul just for content. Um, I know some people that's how they, that's what they base their channels on. Um, and that's okay, but I don't ever go shopping just because I need something to say to you guys. I, I go shopping because I want to go shopping and I want to show you. And if you ever watch any of my videos of me talking about life, life's challenges, um, dating, dating advice, red flags and relationships, all of it's true. Everything I've ever shared with you is true, whether it's stuff that happened in my childhood and my dad leaving or, or anything, it's all true. I will never make up something just to have content. And um, that's another thing about my channel is I like to do a variety. Some people, their channels are strictly about budgeting or strictly about shopping or, or cooking. I like a wide variety um, of whatever you know, content, and I'm finding that each type of video brings in a different type of audience. All right. Um, then CR Heim. This is exciting. I love these type of videos. And that was it. Actually, let me make sure that was it before I say. Yeah. That was it. Those are those four videos. So I'm not going to go th scroll through my whole channel. That would take a long time. It would actually probably bring us to the end of February. Um, but yeah, that is what I wanted to do today. Answer some of your comments right on video. And today, lots of times, or mostly every time I do answer um, your questions or your comments. I like to do that because you take the time to watch my videos. I want to take the time to acknowledge the fact that you watch my videos and um, are talking to me. I like that. And you know, one of these days, I think I'm going to go live if I can figure it out. Um, I, I know when you go live, you know, the comments are on, on one side and I, I would rather have it, you know, go live from my computer in my room. But I don't know if there's a camera on that. I haven't figured that out yet. I've had it for like three years and I still don't know everything about it. So anyways, today is Sunday. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Something that I probably won't be watching. Um, I don't get into football. Now I'm looking down. I'm either looking out the window or I'm looking down. I'm actually playing with a piece of a shag rug. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I do have to go to the store and get some eye drops. Um, I have to go get some Valentine's balloons for the Valentine's party that I'm doing with my residents. That's about it. Um, looking at my hair, it's got this, this side's got this big honking curl over here and this side doesn't. But what does that matter, right? What does that matter? Uh, what else? That's it. That's it. It was just me rambling today and um, answering your questions. I look forward to seeing you again this week. I don't know, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do this week um, as far as videos because I am starting that home care um, three day position this week. And um, that's gonna take up a little bit of time. So, but I will pop on and say hello and um, maybe show you what I'm coming up with to eat for supper. Thank you for watching. Have a great Sunday. Be well. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.